When it comes to doing repetitive tasks, computers leave us mere mortals in the dust like a race car. One would think that modern software applications would spare us from having to input the same information over and over again. Surprisingly, that is not always the case. We have prepared a technology tip with a tutorial that shows how the best-in-class engineering software makes simulation easier and provides tools for minimizing the effort required to run simulations. The application described performs analysis that determines the fatigue life of a product. The demonstration will show how different types of data can be combined with a selected fatigue analysis tool, saved there as a reusable workflow, and how a complete fatigue process can be reused with a single mouse click. You can obtain information about the software used for this demonstration and other related subjects by looking at our webpage, ansys.com slash simplifying fatigue. Fatigue failure occurs when a presumably elastic material is under repetitive tension and or compression within its elastic range. At the micro level, internal slip bands develop, which after perhaps a million cycles reach the surface, resulting in sudden failure. The tutorial will use a wind turbine and analyze the fatigue damage on the hub of the windmill. Actual measurements of the forces and moments on the windmill were made on seven different days. These measurements will be used as input to simulate the fatigue response of the hub for a one-year period. First, the response of the hub to the maximum measured forces and moments will be calculated by the ANSYS structural program. This plot shows the stresses as a result of the loading. The results of the static structural simulations are piped directly into the ANSYS ENCODE design life program, which will calculate the fat fatigue damage and fatigue life on the hub. Within design life, the fatigue workflow combines data from the FE results, the loading measurements, and fatigue material properties. A duty cycle combining a combination of repeated daily measurements will represent the loading on the hub over a one-year period. And the resultant fatigue life is calculated, showing areas of fatigue damage. The newly created process is added to the ANSYS Workbench Toolbox, enabling problems to be run using this process with different data with one click of the mouse. To see the full tutorial and demonstration, go to ansys.com slash simplifying fatigue and register to view the full demo by clicking on the demo link, Simplifying Fatigue Analysis. Thank you for watching.